What's up guys, Sophia here. I am back with another video and I haven't done a motivational video in it seems like forever. But first I wanted to share an accomplishment with you guys. I am now officially Dr. Sophia. I have finished my PhD program, I have graduated, I have walked across the stage and I am not getting any more degrees. This is my third one and this is the highest that I can go and I am done. So, which brings me into the purpose for this video. You know, if you guys don't know, I'm a single mother, and so one of the biggest questions that I just get in life in general is how are you able to accomplish all of this as a single mom? And how are you able to reach your goals? And even if you're not a single mother, mother, I mean, just in general, it can be very difficult to stay on track, to, to focus, to get to where you need to be in life. We're all busy. We all have things that we want to do. And it can be feeling like oftentimes you're not getting anywhere or some people just don't know, you know, how to start. So with that being said, I am going to tell you guys on how you can be successful and reach your goal um, but whatever it is that you do or whatever it is that you choose to do I personally feel like you should go after it with everything so without further ado let me get right into it these are five ways how you can pursue your purpose and become successful number one do what you're good at I don't care like a lot of times you might see people on Facebook doing this going to college going to this college majoring this majoring in that and it is very tempting for you to want to go after what they are trying to do but at the end of the day you are not them whatever is for them and whatever is for you is for you what is for them is for them so you need to figure out what you are good at and you need to figure out how to do what you are good at well. It is very difficult to stay motivated and to be successful if you are trying to be some, something that you're not or be good at something that you're not or work at something that you are not meant to work at. If you are trying to be like a medical doctor and you know you cannot stand the sight of blood or any of that, then that is not what you're good at. Doing, you know, I think, I'm not going to say, a lot of people say, oh, doing what you're good at doesn't feel like work. To me, that's a lie. It's going to feel like work. Like, I like my PhD. I like learning about stuff. But at the end of the day, it was not easy. It was work. So even if you're doing what you're good at, it's going to feel like work. But the key is, if you do something that you hate, you are going to dread every second of it. At least if you're doing something that you're good at, there will be some enjoyable moments and there will be some enjoyable rewards. Like you will feel fulfilled doing that particular thing. So if you don't know what that is, find out what you're good at. Find out what you feel you're naturally gifted at and start pursuing that and start, and start there. The second thing is a big one for me. It's make no excuses. A lot of people make excuses for why they can't. You ask them like, okay, well, what's your goal for today? Why didn't you do this? Oh, and they list 15 different reasons and why they can't. Stop making excuses. If you want to get something done and you make a goal for yourself and you say this is what I want to pursue, then do it without any excuse and work hard at it without any excuse. Because if you make excuses for yourself, the only thing that that's going to get you is a pass for you to tell yourself that it's okay to fail. Because if you're constantly making excuses for why you're not doing or why you're not achieving your goals, then guess what? That's the same as failing because you're not doing anything. So stop making excuses. Hold yourself accountable. Be real with yourself. Have some self-awareness and say, okay, did I put out my best quality work? Did I meet these deadlines? Am I really working hard on this? And if you're not, then own up to that. Admit to yourself like, you know what? I'm not doing that. Don't sit up there and try to make a thousand reasons why as to why you're not. Just, just stop making excuses and just do. Number three, do not let people tell you that you can't. Um, like I said, I'm a single mom. When I first started my master's program, people told me that it would be too difficult. When I first started my PhD program, people told me it would be too difficult and I wouldn't be able to finish it and blah, blah, blah. Not only did I finish my PhD well before a lot of people finished, as well as with my master's program. If you allow other people to dictate to you what you can and cannot do, you're not living your life. You're living their life. So if you feel like I can do something or I want to do something, even if somebody says you can't or that doesn't match your personality, whatever, if the passion is in you, then do it. Number four, be intentional. Like, you know, success don't just drop in people's lap, okay? Like, you're just not like walking around. All the most successful people that you see, they just didn't walk around and was like, hey, look, hey, I'm successful one day. They were intentional. And by intentional, I mean you have to plan what it is that you're going to do. 
plan, come up with a success plan. Like for example, when I finished my bachelor's degree, I made a goal to finish my bachelor's degree in three years. I didn't come up on the three year mark and say, hey, look, I accidentally finished my bachelor's program. What I did at the beginning of the, my freshman year, I planned out all of my classes, when I was gonna take my classes, if I was gonna take summer classes, if I was gonna take winter classes. I planned all of that out. It wasn't just an accident. So when I say be intentional, you have to know exactly what you're getting into, what you're trying to do, where you're gonna go with it, how you're gonna implement your success, how you're gonna implement your plan, plan and how you're going to do exactly what you say you're going to do. You can't just expect to stumble and fly by the seat of your pants and just magically hope and wish and dream that everything is just magically going to be okay or that you're going to be successful or that you're going to reach a goal because it just doesn't work like that. You need to actually have a plan. Stick to your plan. Make no excuses of, as to why you cannot achieve that plan and that is like the core definition of how you start to get things done. Number five, don't give up. I, you know, there were times where I felt like, oh, I'm stalled, but never once did I want to give up. With my PhD program, it was quite pricey. There was a time where I had finished all of my classes and I had to take um, some special like preparation for my dissertation and it had put me on like a pause because I wasn't able to move forward in my degree program till I took these classes, but then I had to come up with the money. Never once did I say, oh wow, I didn't come up with the money and so I guess I'm going to quit. Like no, like at the end of the day, people have setbacks, people have failures, people have a whole lot of things, but yet and still you need to keep going. You know, with that particular situation, there were some un unexpected financial hardships that hit my life. So yeah, you can't plan for everything but you can get back on your plan and whenever you experience those setbacks don't give up don't just think just because you failed or things are not falling in place just the way you like or as fast as you like that it's not meant to be because that's not true if you ask anybody that has ever accomplished anything great i promise you they have experienced a thousand no's they have experienced a thousand setbacks they have ex experienced a thousand failures, but yet they persevere and they continue to go and they learn from their mistakes so that ultimately when they're put in a new situation or going forward, they don't continue to make the same mistakes again. Whatever your setback is, there is a lesson to be learned. Learn the lesson and keep going. The lesson is not to give up. The only thing that giving up will get you is nothing. Like that's a sure way to fail because you're not even trying at that point. So if you keep going, then you have a chance at success. If you keep going, you will achieve something. If you follow these five steps, work hard at what you do, put out good quality work, try your best and continuously have a plan and be intentional about everything that's going on and how to reach your goal it's going to pay off it has to all right guys thank you guys so much for watching those were my five tips um don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys another day another time bye youtube